Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Local martial arts athletes brought laurels to the state of Meghalaya by winning four gold medals at the recently concluded Second World Jeet Kune Do Championship held at Sri Lanka. The four are the athletes from the Meghalaya School of Martial Arts, MSMA, who represents the state and country at the championship held at Provincial Sports Complex Digana Kandi, Sri Lanka from March 10 to March 12. On reaching the city on Wednesday, the athletes received a heroic welcome and was felicitated by the Assistant Secretary Central Body of the MSMA, Eric Nonkanri, Adora the secretary of the Sinkintai Latkor Maori Lomhe, along with family member and other well wishers. The number of medical colleges in Assam will increase to 12, with a new one at Nalbari getting approval from the National Medical Commission to start the MBBS course from 2023-2024 academic session, Chief Minister Himanta Biswar Sarma said on Wednesday. The Chief Minister termed it a historic accomplishment for the state, with four new medical colleges being set up in just one year. State Health Minister Kesha Manta, in a statement, said with the latest approval, the total number of MBBS seats in the state will increase to 1,500. Moving on, Union Minister Pratima Bhomik resigned from her post as MLA on Wednesday, putting an end to the suspense over her future role in Tripura politics. The resignation paves the way for another by-election from the state's Dhanpur Assembly constituency. Bhomik stated that she had resigned from her post as advised by the party's high command. She added that the BJP's top leadership had allowed her to contest the elections despite being an elected MP and holding the post of Minister of State. However, now the party has advised her to continue her role as a parliamentarian, which is why she has tendered her resignation. Bhomik emphasised that there would be no compromise with the promises of development she had made during the campaign trail and all promises would be kept for the development of Dhanpur. A march by leaders of several opposition parties to the Enforcement Directorate Office was blocked by the Delhi police soon after it started from Parliament on Wednesday. The leaders were demanding a probe into the Adani issue. The Delhi police increased security measures outside the ED office and told the leaders if they do not call off the protest, they will be detained as Section 144 is in effect. When they could not move ahead, leaders of 18 opposition parties called off the march and returned to Parliament. India has sent an invitation to Pakistan's Defence Minister Khwaja Asif and National Security Advisor NSA to attend the meeting of the Shanghai Cooperation Organisation SCO to be held in New Delhi in April. According to reports, Khwaja Asif has accepted the Indian government's invitation. With India currently holding the presidency of the SCO, it is set to host a series of meetings. The Shanghai Cooperation Organisation comprises China, India, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Pakistan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela.